It was not you who chose me, says the Lord, but I who chose you and appointed you to bear fruit, fruit that will last. Alleluia. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Today, as we come before our Father in heaven, let us call to mind the times that we have failed and ask God for his divine mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the blessing of Mary. All the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me and to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and earth, on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you, and we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who assigned St. Matthias a place in the College of the Apostles, grant us through his intercession that rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in the one place. He said, my brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us and was a lot of a share in this ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms. Let his encampment become desolate, and may no one dwell in it, and may another take his office. Therefore it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time, the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John, until the day on which he was taken up from us. Become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed to Joseph called Barsabbas, who was also known as Justice, and Matthias. Then they prayed, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which of these two you have chosen to take the place of this apostolic ministry from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. A 
above the heavens is his glory. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Who is like the Lord our God who is enthroned on high and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the downhill he lifts up the poor to seat them with princes, with princes of his own people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment, love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. So you are my friends, if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because the slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me. But I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the most powerful means of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Today we celebrate St. Matthias' feast day, a martyr of the church, someone who has given his life for the gospel. And I think it's important to realize that Matthias was Judas's replacement. And what, as I was sitting there listening to the readings, the scripture jumped into my mind when Jesus was entering Jerusalem and everyone was praising him before uh, the crucifixion. And the Sadducees and Pharisees were angry and they were saying, stop them from praising you, stop them. They shouldn't be shouting this. And they were shouting, blessed is the name of the Lord who creates heaven and earth and praising Jesus as the Messiah. And he said to one of them, he said, if I tell them to stop, even the stones will shout out and praise. We have to realize that when we do not do God's will, he will replace us. We will die in our own sin, and he will go on with his plan. And even as Judas betrayed the Lord, he replaced Judas with Matthias. And Matthias became a martyr and gave God glory. There are many people out there with an aspect of who God is that will replace us, even when we die. Our children, our grandchildren, they will replace us in this world. And it's okay. But what Jesus is talking about today 
as he's talking about how much we love and how we love. The greatest act of love is to give one's life for another. That means a couple different things. It could mean physically, as police officers and firemen and military, they put their lives on the line for all of us as we pray for them every day. But it also means our service and how we love, our emotions, our mind, our hearts, when we try to serve society, when we try to serve one another in love, and sometimes we are pushed back by the world. It's this aspect that we call spiritual warfare, and it is thick, and it is a war today. When we bring love to bear in the world, sometimes we get that pushback. People don't want that love. They don't want the love of Christ. But we got to remember that the world hated Christ first. So therefore, the world will hate us if we love Christ as well. Not in a sense of being martyrs, but in a sense that we will feel the emotional toil, even from our children, from our family, from our grandchildren sometimes, who don't understand faith or supernatural faith. And it's important to stick to that faith by what we do, not about what we say, but what we do, people will see the witness of our love in our lives, and they will come to know love through us and what we do. It's the most important witness that we can have is what we do, not about what we can say, because we can say one thing and do another. We know that by watching even TV and the news today. So, my brothers and sisters in Christ, the message that I, I try to bring to you today is remember that we are judged by how we love in this world. Ask God, the master of all love, who laid his body on the line, his, his very existence in this world. He died for each and every one of us. He gave himself to the world for us, for the repentance and the forgiveness of sins. Don't forget every day to ask for God's mercy. Don't forget today that remembrance of the Our Father. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Forgive so that we can be forgiven and love those around you with the sincerest of hearts by your witness, not necessarily by your words. Let us stand and pray. Father, we come before you in praise and thanksgiving. We thank you for hearing us, for we know you always hear us. Consider these needs, and we beg you to answer them. Father, we continue to pray for our church. We pray for all priests and bishops. We pray for a holy boldness in your truth, Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary in our world, within our church, within our families, and within our own hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sanctity of life from conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the people of Israel and the world, Lord. We ask for the stop of all violence and war. We ask your holy angels to attend to this. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for you, for your family, your friends, your circle of influence, for those that have asked for your prayers, and especially now the prayers in the silence of your hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for those who come to us in crisis, our military, law enforcement, firefighters, first responders, hospital personnel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for healing in our community, especially those that are sick in our families as well. We ask for the intercession of St. Raphael. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Today we pray for... Dana, Donna, how do you say the last name? McIntyre, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord 
Father, these are our prayers. We ask you to hear them through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and also through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, our Mother, as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Let us pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently presented for this feast of St. Matthias, and through them strengthen us by your power and your grace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations and to be a lasting sign of your holiness here on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for all ages unending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all of our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, that we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Margaret of Scotland and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, 
O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, may the body of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you, says the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Please allow me to pray a spiritual communion for those at home. Lord Jesus Christ, you are present to us in the tabernacle all over the world. As we receive your body and blood, we ask you to flood our hearts, our minds, our very souls. We ask you to cleanse us. We ask for mercy and forgiveness and your gifts of the Holy Spirit as we await the Pentecost of the Lord. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And let us pray. Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts and through blessed Matthias intercession for us, graciously admit us to the share of the lot of the saints in light through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia.